Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mario and today we're making meatballs, but today we're going to make it one of the two different ways I make keto meatballs. So stick around. So here are the usual things you see me use in my meatballs. We have uh, two pounds of ground beef today. We have the ground black pepper. We got parsley. We got the uh, grated parm cheese. We have pink Himalayan salt, granulated garlic, and you usually see me use breadcrumbs. Now, this wouldn't be very keto if I used breadcrumbs, so we're gonna substitute this out. That's right, we're gonna use pork rinds. However, since we're using pork rinds, it doesn't have a lot of the extra spices that you might get in breadcrumbs. So when I go through the ingredients, we're gonna use more of the spices and cheese that we normally would to make up for that. Now I got my little three cup food processor here. Now normally for two pounds of ground beef, you would put in a cup of breadcrumbs. However, with the pork rinds, you only use half of what you normally use. So instead of a cup of breadcrumbs, we're gonna use a half a cup of pork rinds. So I'm gonna get start grinding those up. They're also good for snacks. After I bought this, I wish I had bought the bigger food processor. It would have made my life a lot easier with many things. Three cups is just simply too small, but I'm making do. Okay, normally you would only put one egg per pound. However, I find the keto version is a little bit dry. And the reason why it's dry is you don't put uh, equal parts of dry and liquids together. So if I had three cups of dry, I would put three cups of liquid. You don't do that with the keto version. So I want more moisture in there. And one of the ways I do that is adding an extra egg. Normally I would add a teaspoon when I'm doing four pounds of ground beef, but we only have two pounds. So I'm gonna add just a little bit less than a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna give this a quick whisk. Okay, again, we got our two pounds of ground beef. Now, reason number two uh, behind wanting more moisture is normally I use maybe a 88% lean ground beef. However, for the keto recipe, as I mentioned, it's a drier. I like to use something with higher fat. Um, so usually I can get a 70-30, but I didn't have that today. So I'm going to simply use the 88 that I have on hand. So again, two pounds of ground beef. And instead of using a cup of breadcrumbs, I'm going to use a half a cup of ground and chopped up pork rinds. Uh, I'm adding again more spices of everything because there are no spices in the breadcrumbs. So normally you would put a quarter cup. I am going to put more. I would normally use one teaspoon for two pounds of parsley flakes or ground chopped parsley. And I am going to use again a little more. Okay, so we got a little bit over our teaspoon here. And for that two pounds of ground beef, we would normally use it then half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna use a little bit more to make up for that. And normally we would put in two teaspoons of salt. Again, a little more than that is one, is two, and just a little bit more. And the last thing we would use a half a teaspoon of pepper for two pounds, and I'm gonna put a little bit more into that. Now, if you wanted to, uh, you could mix all these spices in with the pork rinds when you grind them up to get them nice and mixed up. This just happens to be the way I did it. And last but not least, we're gonna add in our slightly beaten eggs. Normally I have that big red bowl that I use to mix everything up, but I'm only making two pounds instead of four or five. So this bowl should be fine. Hopefully nothing comes flying out. And this is the stage where you're also gonna determine if these meatballs are too uh, wet or too dry. If they're too wet, uh, you can add some more uh, cheese and pork rinds. And if they're too dry, you can add a little bit of water if you want, or egg or whatever, depending on the amount you need. And important thing to remember again, you don't wanna mix in the meat too much because that'll make for a, a more stiffer meatball. You want to just mix it enough. Now I feel like these are too wet, so I'm going to add in some more pork rinds. <clears throat> now keto has always been about high fat, medium protein, and low or no carb. 
So what I'm gonna do here is a little bit extra. I'm gonna make some with just the mixture I have here. I'm gonna have some also with some cheddar in the middle. I want to do mozzarella, but I didn't have any. And the ones with the cheese in the middle will have to be a little bigger to house these cube cheese. And this is basically my, uh, my regular cheese I cut up into little uh, squares. We'll definitely know the cheese ones because they're going to be so big compared to the rest of them. By the way, this is Cracker Barrel um, Sharp Cheddar or Extra Sharp Cheddar. I like the one in the red package, I think, the most. All right, so we got these in there now. And we have four, or excuse me, we have five huge meatballs. I'd like to see if we can get those wrapped in some bacon because what would it be without bacon? So we'll have three in bacon, three without. Of course, if I offer any to Donna, it'll be the ones without the cheese and the bacon because I want those for myself. And those other two will leave as uh, just the, the mixture. And I am gonna make some regular ones now. These will take less time to cook overall because they'll be a little bit smaller. I'm making these meatballs big on purpose. Normally I would make a, a lot of small ones, like if I got company coming or not. But uh, these I'm just making for me. And to remind you that uh, you just wanna get these enough in a circle. You don't have to get them perfect. You don't want to, uh, you know, mold it more than you have to, just because it'll, uh, meatballs just won't be the same. What I could do to differentiate is I can make the separ the regular cheese ones here with cheese inside, you know, make them like a, a football shape so I don't mix them up because I'm not going to cook these all right now. I'm going to freeze some for later. I won't cook them first. I'll just throw them in the freezer. Those are some big meat ball. Okay. And look at that. Perfect. One left. Now to my point, so I don't mix these up, I am going to kind of elongate these a little bit. So I will know that those are the ones with just cheese in the center versus none at all. Okay, to make everything a little bit easier, I am gonna use parchment paper. It's gonna make it uh, getting out a little bit easier and cure the sticking problem. So I got two with, I'll put in uh, one with the bacon, one with the big block of cheddar in the middle, one plain, and, uh, well, one more with uh, wrapped in bacon here. So you can see that. We got bacon and cheddar. Cheddar only and the regular recipe. Let's get these in the air fryer. Well, I'm going to cook these at about 360. And the reason why is that bacon can cook in about six minutes. But those meatballs are probably going to take twice as long. We'll be back in a bit. Uh, halftime show here. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest accounts. They are in the description. Google Plus is now defunct. Um, <clears throat> I've lost 43.4 pounds on the three-month, five-day mark. So towards the end, it's getting slow. Uh, ideally, I'd like to lose another 20, 30 pounds, but we'll see what happens. This show is brought to you by Pork Rides. Actually, it's not. That's my filler. But these make a great snack if you just want something like instead of chips, zero carbs. Let's get back to the show. Okay, that's been seven minutes. Let's take a quick look. All right, things are actually looking pretty good. Um, I am actually just curious of the temperature, so I'm going to stick, stick a fork in it. We'll do one of the ones without the cheese in the middle just to give an accurate measurement. Okay, these are about 105 degrees, so they still have... Plenty of time to cook. Let's get it back in the oven. And we'll check back in five. Okay, for the remaining minute, I'm gonna pump up that temperature to 400 degrees. I did remove the parchment paper halfway through cooking. All right, we're done. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, those look pretty good. Let's get those in a plate. You know what? I want this one to be extra cheesy, so I'm gonna lay on a slather of provolone. I'm just gonna sit this in the air fryer for a minute and that cheese will melt right around it. Okay, so here we got the two meatballs wrapped in bacon stuffed with cheddar. 
This one is stuffed with cheddar and top of provolone, and this is just the regular meatball. I'm gonna cut these in half. That looks good. This one I know looks good inside. Mmm, a lot of that cheese is melted all over. You can't even see it. Let's get this uh, one cut open here up front. There we go. Cheese is all gooed up in there. Let's take a taste. All right, here we go. A little close up there. All right, first I'm gonna try a little bit of the plain old meatball. That's actually pretty good. Came off better than I expected. Let's try the one that's stuffed with uh, Cracker Barrel cheddar cheese. Mm. Did I say to f did I forget to say wrapped in bacon? I think I did. I meant to try that one last. Oh yeah. Now, what was supposed to be my second try, but that was my third try, is this is the one wrapped in provolone, but also cheddar inside. Hot. Someone's waiting for a bite. That's the bacon one. I know, I want just a small piece of the bacon one. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. Okay. <laughs> Trying to get my plate back. <clears throat> well, I have to tell you. That's, that's smell good. That's actually really good. Mm. Grab me pork rinds. So, this has actually turned out better than I thought. And remember, I substituted the breadcrumbs for pork rinds. These got at that Christmas tree shop. They're expensive to buy online. They're expensive in general, but... Uh, <clears throat> and then I added extra spices in there to compensate for what would normally be in the regular Italian breadcrumbs. Now, you could omit breadcrumbs or pork rinds altogether because it just uses a filler, but I like the taste, the flavor, you know, all that. Um, I would say this was very much a success. Uh, I made these one other time. It was for my daughter's birthday, but I simplified the recipe a lot and didn't make it exactly the same. So as of test one of two, this is really good. Uh, I'm really happy the way that turned out. Um, uh, other news to date, 43.4 <clears throat> pounds, I think I'm down. And that was, at, uh, that was from a couple of days ago and that was at uh, three months, six days, I wanna say. So I'm making progress, it's slowing down, but uh, I'm hoping uh, the whole fit at 50, losing 50 by my birthday uh, happens. What else? Um, uh, Facebook, Instagram below, uh, please subscribe. Uh, I got something coming up that I will share soon in a short video. So there is no clear winner here. Uh, well, bacon, you know, that's the clear winner for me anyway, because the, the bacon wrapped provolone cheddar inside that's got keto written all over it and uh, you know the pork rinds have zero carbs so you got everything in there anyway if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing hit the notification bell so you know when I put out a new video I'll see you on the next one thanks a lot don't forget to unplug the air fryer folks Gonna cut another one of the bacon ones. A couple of these being as big as they are. It's like a whole meal. Plus, I'm eating less. Oh my god, that's good. Must have been an extra big piece of cheddar in there. <clears throat> See you later, folks.